Hi there, and welcome to another Advent Squeezebox calendar. Have I got that the right way around? Squeezebox Advent calendar. Calendar Advent Squeezebox. <laughs> I've done so many of these now, I can't remember. Um, anyway, uh, I've got a very special instrument to show you today, and uh, this uh, is, I think it's the only one I've got at the moment that's uh, made in Britain. This instrument here is, uh, and it's also the first one row that I've uh, played on um, on these. Uh, the one row melodeon made uh, this one made by Reese Wesson in Wales, and it's well, we'll see how good it is later on. But uh, just to say that the one row melodeon is the most basic um, and kind of closest to the original melodeons that were invented uh, that we have. That doesn't mean they're not uh, quite highly technical inside. Um, so. First thing you might notice, this is called a one row four stop. These are four stops. You see them there? Four stops. Um, uh, you can see on the front it's got an open uh, grill, this one, so you can see all the workings. Um, and one row of buttons, one row of pallets, and the pallets are big and long because each one opens potentially four reeds at once. So um, without further ado, I'll take you through uh, what the stops do. Um, the kind of normal way of playing these is with all the stops open. Um, so when they're in the down position on this one, they're uh, actually closed, so it doesn't make any noise. Um, so we'll start at the top. So the top one is the high pitched reed. And the configuration on this four voice is LMMH, which means low, medium, medium, high. Um, so that's the high, and then the next one to come in is the low reed. So that's two octaves below that high reed, which means these two must be the middle ones. So the one closest to me is the concert pitch reed. And then the one next to it turns that into a tremolo, and that is pitched slightly higher than the concert pitch read and gives it so when the two notes play together they interfere and give that instead of this which you often call quite a concertinary reedy sound uh, that's of course concertinas generally only have uh, one set of reeds unless they're very unusual ones so what that means is you can play a around with the combinations of the stops and get loads of different noises um, so for example if you just want the concert pitch one and the low one that means you um, you end up with a, a two voice sound but with no tremolo you can put that tremolo in make the sound a bit fuller uh, you can just play the concert pitch read with the one higher than it you can play low, medium and high without the tremolo. You can play just the low and the high one. I think that's pretty much all of them now. So uh, then this is, all the stops are out. So uh, that's what those stops do. On the left hand, you, uh, you don't really call it a left hand keyboard because you've only got two buttons. Actually, you've got three because there's one underneath here as well. Um, so your hand goes through a strap on this little bit here that's called the growl box. Uh, and you'll hear why that set is called the growl box because it gives the, um, the the left hand a very growly characteristic. So here's the bass read. You only have a choice of one bass button and one chord button. Uh, the bass button plays, this is in D major, this, this uh, tuning. And so you get a D on the push and an A on the pull and that's all you're getting. So there's the basses, an A on the pull, and the chords, that's, that's what I mean about the growl. And then on the back, for my the sort of ball under my thumb where it's that, that's a, an air button. Um, so uh, we'll get on and play it later. Um, uh, I'm not going to take this one to bit too much, I'll just show, show you the, the right hand side and the way, the reason um, the growl box gives you that sound. So I will look inside it a bit uh, and then we'll play your tune. So here's my uh, Reese Wesson uh, and this model is called a Clipper. Um, Reese makes 
three different sizes of uh, one row melodeons. Um, he makes one called the Corvette, which is the full sized Cajun one, probably would come out to about here, uh, and has uh, larger space between the reeds, gives more powerful sound. Um, the Clipper is lovely and lightweight. It's um, I don't know if he built it on the, the actual dimensions of the Castagnari, the original Castagnari Max, um, which is an, another very popular, small, lightweight, um, punchy little uh, one row. But uh, it's kind of, it has the same dimensions and the same sort of feel as those boxes. Um, and then he makes a third one, which is kind of like a posh version of the Hona one row, which he calls a wind jammer, which I love the name of. Um, so yeah, let's get inside it. Um, uh, as I said uh, in an earlier one, with uh, one row traditional designs, you don't have pins, you have screws that go through the front and attach to the bellows frame. So I'll get straight in there with just these two flathead screws. Very traditional, Reese. Okay, and it's as easy as that. He says, not being able to take it off. <laughs> okay, and so here we have the inside. Oh, look at this pretty wood on the uh, on the reed block. Mm. Very nice. Now uh, uh, with these one, one rows, they are um, attached in permanently. But again, we've got an instrument that doesn't use wax. It uses, uh, Reese has used little crosshead screws in between the pairs of reeds, which just presses down enough onto this material here, which is a kind of cork. Um, some instruments will use a leather, but this uh, is called olivisk, or olvisk, I think. Um, and uh, they use it for any ones that have a waxless reading system. So, uh, Again, makes it really nice to maintain and do any jobs you need to do on the reeds. You just take them off one by one. Which in an instrument where you can't take the, the reed blocks off is brilliant. Um, so yeah, that's inside there. We've got the stop mechanism here. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You've got um, four banks of reeds. Here's the concert pitch bank at the bottom. You just pull that slot slider. This one has a wooden thin wooden slider that goes and takes the reeds in or out of play and then this one takes it onto this middle block the lower half of the middle block those are the tremolo reeds then we have the lower pitch reeds and you can see the weighted brass weighted lower notes to give those lower notes that's um, the low reeds and then the high reeds on the top going right up to the very high pitched reed there, absolutely tiny little thing. And these reeds are binchy reeds. Perfect, um, same as the ones in my Martin. Um, absolutely powerhouses, really amazing reeds. And inside, I'm not going to take the base end off, but you can see this is how the reeds from the growl box are fixed. There's two holes in the middle for the air button, and then you have the base reeds on one side, and the uh, cord reeds on the other, only three plates of each, and uh, it says there, Reese Wesson has his stamp, uh, and it says number 27 Clipper, December 2017. And I'd seen, I mean, Reese has been making boxes for a while now, and because I used to go on all the trade fairs selling instruments. That's how I kind of started going around the festivals. Um, I've known Reese for a lot of years, and I tried all the boxes he had that he'd made with him every time I saw him, and they just, I mean, they were very impressive to start with. But a uh, Melodian teaching workshop one time, I literally tried this one, and it just played like butter in my hands. Um, and as I say, each instrument has its own very unique characteristic. And I've been bitten so many times by having instruments where 
I'd not bought them when they seemed like the perfect one. That I bit the bullet and just bought it pretty much after having played it. And I haven't regretted it. It's the best one row I've ever had a go on, I think. Um, and it just sings. And it, it's the, the action on the right hand buttons is lovely and light. You can play really fast stuff. There's a little bit, there's a little sign there. Wesson. Um, and the little RW sign on the front. Nothing too showy. Which, if you've seen Reese wearing some of his shirts, you'd be surprised at. <laughs> But uh, yeah, what a box. Wesson Clipper one row indeed. Let's hear it played. So yes, let's, uh, um, I've shown you most of the notes on it already. So uh, we'll get straight into the tune um, shortly. Uh, just to say that this design of Melodian um, appears all over different traditions in the world. So you've got a very specific uh, older Irish tradition of playing them uh, on the west coast especially and uh, the islands um, then there's uh, one row players in pockets of England um, uh, the most notable proponents of one row tended to be in East Anglia uh, um, that sort of area and then uh, they're absolutely crucial in Cajun music and um, uh, Quebecois music as well from Canada um, so you you will sort of hear this very unique sound that they've got in lots of different traditions around the world. Um, anyway, I'm going to play you a tune I've written, uh, uh, and I wrote it on a one row, so that's why. Called 4432 um, on the Western one row in D. The Wesson One Row, one of the best instruments I've got. See you next time.